Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be doing pork tenderloin medallions and an onion gravy. Uh, but before we dive into today's recipe, if you're new here, uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. And for my returning viewers, I want to thank you for all your support you've given my channel. So let's grab our aprons, get our ingredients, and let's get started. So we are going to need the following. Uh, pork tenderloin, olive oil, butter, onion, garlic, all-purpose flour, beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, dried thyme, and salt and pepper. So we have our pork tenderloin. So what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to cut these into about one inch medallions. And then once we get this sliced up, we're going to season both sides with some salt and pepper. Now we're going to get over to the stove and we're going to start cooking these up. So we have our oil heated up over a medium high heat. So we are going to lay our medallions in here. And we're going to probably have to cook these in some batches. And we're going to do these about two to three minutes per side. Um, until they're nice and brown. All right, so our medallions are done. So to this, we are going to add in a stick of butter into our pan. Get this all melted. thinly sliced onions and we're going to cook these about 8 to 10 minutes till they're soft and caramelized. As you can see our onions have a nice caramel color to them and they're nice and soft and so to this we're going to add in our garlic and this we only want to cook it up just a little bit, just till the flavor starts releasing. Maybe 30 seconds, if that. And we're going to just continue to stir this because we don't want them to burn on the bottom. All right. So now we are going to add in our flour. And we're going to continue to stir this for about two minutes. Okay, so now we are going to slowly start adding in our beef broth. And we're going to turn the heat down just a little bit. So 
now we're going to let this go for another couple of minutes and then we'll continue building up our flavors. Alright, so this has been going about two minutes, so to this we're going to add in our thyme and our Worcestershire sauce. And once again, we're going to let this cook for about two minutes. And if you do find that your gravy tends to be thicker than what you want it, don't be scared to add a little more beef broth. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to add in our medallions including any drippings that are in our bowl. And we're going to give this a good stir. Make sure our medallions are submerged in our gravy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover this and let this cook for about 30 minutes. All right, so our medallions have been simmering for a good 30 minutes, and this gravy looks wonderful. So let's go ahead and plate us up some mashed potatoes. Because what doesn't go better with gravies than mashed potatoes? So I really do hope everyone loved the video, and um, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, your likes and comments really do mean the world to me, and they help support the channel. And as always, be nice and be kind, and remember, always enjoy cooking in the kitchen.